The chairman CEO Nigeria's in Diaspora Commission need come on Rebu Abike Wa, which raised that the National Assembly needs to consider the enormous benefit of involving Nigerians in Diaspora in the electoral process by supporting the proposed bill on Diaspora voting. She made this known while answering questions on the strategies to be employed towards extending voting opportunities to Nigerians in foreign lands in future elections. Honorable Eriwa, who appeared at the ministerial media briefing organized by the presidential communications team at the presidential villa Abuja, said the invaluable contributions of thousands of Nigerians in diaspora in the area of health, technology, commerce, politics, and finance speak to the need of these Nigerians to be part of the electoral system at home. Thousands said it particularly for diaspora voting. Unfortunately, we didn't succeed. The National Assembly is still not interested in diaspora voting, but we will not relent and continue to engage with them because I believe, and everything we should know, that the diaspora should be able to vote. So we hope that we continue to engage with the parliament. Look, there's no big deal about diaspora voting. And a diaspora, which was at the beginning of my presentation, is somebody who is living legally in another man's country. It's not an illegal immigrant that just goes through the desert and goes. You have to be a legal resident with a name, an address, and you are paying tax in that country. Speaking on the perceived image of Nigeria and the 30,000 citizens living outside the country, the need come back, charged the media on the need to change the narratives by amplifying the positive developmental drives in the country rather than fueling the vision and acts of insecurity through sensational journalism. The UAE is a trending problem, because that UAE, is, as I speak with you, we have 302 in a camp, holding center, being profiled, and they need to come back home. This is after we've warned you that don't go to these countries. We remember when UAE, and this was a point that was stressed, but our people are still going and breaking the laws of other countries. Meanwhile, the Commission has renewed its call on students, parents and Nigerians in general to be weary of unapproved university admission in some countries. The NIDCOM chairman said necessary information on approved institutions should be gotten through the ministries of the Education and Foreign Affairs, adding that many unsuspecting students have got dropped or killed in some countries and cannot be accounted for.